Hi, uh, good afternoon to all the students. Uh, how is everyone? Are you still fine? And basically, today is one of the hottest day uh, I've already experienced uh, for this year. Yeah, it's hot again. Uh. So I turn on two air cooler together. Yeah, not then uh, it's too hot for all of us. Uh. So I hope you also uh, have a comfortable environment to study for this class. Uh, for your information, we have already finished all our lectures, right? So we will start to do some revisions, but mostly I will let you to do your self revision. But what I will do is I will basically, I will put some questions for you to uh, do. After that, you can share it uh, on the Jamboard. You can actually open your own uh, materials and go and study. Uh, by, by the way, uh, I, I can see many of you are already here. I can see Saw Yan Chang is the first one who joined uh, our class. Yeah, and then uh, I see uh, many of you uh, start uh, start to join in. You see Bun Kyung as usual. as the first name. Then we have Chai Siu, uh, Chi Ye, uh, Chun Wei, uh, Chong Yi, uh, Han Xiang, Heng Dong, Xin Shen, Zui Ming, Ka Sheng, uh, Brenda Kui, uh, Leong Ho, Ernest, uh, Tiong Le, Wei Hong, Wen Liang, uh, Xu Pian, Xue Wen, Yan Chang, Yao Ting, Yi Hang, Yi Si, Yong Chuan, Yu Yang, and Jiang Hen. So all of you have already been here. We have about 25 students here. We still have six that uh, haven't come yet. Uh, for today, actually, I want to discuss something with you. Uh. Uh, since we have already finished our uh, lectures, uh, and then the only thing we left is actually the presentation right yeah this will be your presentation table so i i'm asking if all of you can can you all of you uh, decide beside who uh, beside uh wei hong chai siu and also chun wei brenda uh, who has already presented or other 13 groups uh, please help to present by next tuesday is it okay uh? So if you present by next Tuesday, then we can finish our presentation earlier. Then we will finish everything and then you can really start to do your revision. Yeah, I will just give you some questions to do. Is that okay for you? Uh? Can all of you do it next Tuesday together. Uh? Then more people, then you'll be less scared, right? Uh, we have 10 minutes per, per group, so don't be more than 10 minutes. Just a, a presentation and then uh, maybe one question. Uh, from you all, then after that, uh, we can continue. Yeah. So, hi, sir. Uh, today can present. Yeah. Xin Shen, yes. Of course, uh, because next week we have a lot of uh, presentation. So, if you want to present, yeah, I would like you to present. Sir, can my team has presentation later? Yeah, sure. Wen Liang and Xin Shen. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. So, the all other teams can try to present by next Tuesday. But you really, really cannot. I won't. There, there won't be any penalty like, because we already set it to be uh, these three days, right? But if possible, please do it. Uh, yeah. So let me see who is the next group. Uh. Next group is uh, Xing Shen. Uh. Let me see Xing Shen. That's Xing Shen. Okay. Xing Shen one, uh, book, book the time already. Xing Shen, where is it? Okay. So we have Tan Xing Shen. Uh, Yong Wen Liang, right? Oh, the same group, yeah? Okay, sure. Then Wong Ka Shing. So today we just do the presentation, yeah? So I will unshare. Uh, who else want to present? May I know? Number eight, yeah. Wen Liang, yeah. Any other group want to present? If not, then I will just leave the screen to uh, Xing Shen, Wen Liang, and Ka Shing. I've already unshared. So basically, I would like you to do your presentation. If other groups want to do now, can also. So next Tuesday, we have 12 groups. Huh? Yeah, if let's say you really cannot, you let me know. Huh? Yeah, because we already promised to have three days, right? But I, I still think that if we can do it, finish earlier, then you can uh, release your burden, right? Then you can just focus on your uh, other things. Huh? So I like uh, Xing Shen. Uh, yeah, please. Thank you.
Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Hong and my fellow cosmate. Uh, today we will be good afternoon. Uh, we will be presenting about the AMD processor. Uh, firstly, we we'll start with the history of AMD processor. Uh, next slide. Uh, AMD was founded in 1969 by Walter Jeremiah Sanders. In 1970s, AMD launched its first product and began manufacture computer chips. In subsequent years, uh, AMD only functioned as second source chip manufacturer for Intel. This implied that uh, AMD doesn't really uh, manufacture their own, own personal uh, computer chips or microprocessor is based on the Intel processor. Among initial product that AMD sells are logic counter and multipliers. Uh, next, moving on to the uh, next slide. I think I'm lagging. Wait. Uh, the AM three three eight six series. Uh, AM three eight six series is first launched in nineteen ninety nine. Uh, AM, AM386 DX and AM386 SX is belong to the AM386 series. Uh, as you can see, uh, the features of both processors are nearly the same. The maximum clock rate instruction set is uh, shared by both processors. The main difference is that the power consumption by AM386 SX is lower, which makes it bet uh, better. AM386 SX is meant to compete against Intel counterpart. The advantage of AMD386 SX against Intel386 SX is that it has higher clock rate and it has cheaper price. Uh, for the next slide. Uh, Shinchen, uh, can you move to the next slide? Can you uh, maximize your PowerPoint? Yeah, because it will be easier for all other uh, students to see. Uh, but, uh, I think I'm lagging. Uh, for the AM46, uh, it is also meant to compete against the uh, Intel counterpart. AM46 having better con uh, performance than Intel counterpart and sell at lower price. As you can see from the table that the maximum clock rate for AM486 is higher than Intel 80486. The major improvement of AM486 is that it has enhanced power saving feature and the size of L1 cache is, has increased. The later models of 486 series also having a larger L1 cache size. Uh, it cannot then L mine like, yeah. Uh, next, uh, for the next slide. Uh, the AM5X, 5X, 5X it is said is the upgraded version of AM486. It has, uh, is the best performance profit processor in the 1995. As you can see the comparison table for the AM5X86 uh, against the AM486 processor. The maximum clock rate has uh, drastically increased and the voltage utilized has been further reduced to have a better power saving features. And when compete against their Intel counterpart, which is Pentium 75, uh, AMD processor compensates its shortcomings through the faster clock rates. Uh, and hence, the, with the launching of the AM5X86, AMD solidified its positions as a direct competitor in the fields of processor. Uh, next, I will pass it to my teammate, Tash Jensen. Okay, next, uh, I would like to talk about the features of Athlon processor. Now, uh, the features that made uh, Athlon processor stand out from the rest of the processor is that it was the first ever x86 microprocessor 
and also the first to reach speeds of up to 1 gigahertz. At that time, it was uh, count as the fastest processor at the time. Also, it was also the first processor to utilize the copper fabrication that we commonly know of of semiconductors these days are, are fabricated using copper. Other than that, it was also the first ever CPU with cache storage of up to 1 to 8 kilobits. It is also separated to two cache storage, namely 2 times 64 kilobits. Uh, next, uh, previously, during that time, SRAM cache uh, could not keep up with the Athlon processor speed. Hence, uh, MD implemented L2 cache uh, to remove dependency on external cache to fully utilize Athlon processor fast uh, clock speed. Next, I would like to talk about Ryzen 7 uh, features. So, uh, first, first of all, it was uh, manufactured with the technology of 14 nanometer process. It has octa cores and it is more power efficient than its predecessors, whereby there are embedded sensors uh, inside the processor known as precision boost technology. It helps to regulate the voltage in the processor. Also, uh, it has reduced thermal design power, whereby uh, it is also known as TDP. It is a term used by MD to refer to the ability of the CPU cooler to dissipate heat from the chip. Also, with uh, this is due to the 14 nanometer technology of AMD Ryzen 7, which uh, allows it to dissipate heat uh, efficiently while running. Other than that, it has a neural net prediction technology, which is the usage of hash perception system to avoid waiting from the cold blocks by warming them up and allowing the processor to anticipate future instructions. Next is a uh, smart prefetch uh, technology. It is a technology to eliminate dec decoding pipeline stages to avoid high cost on the processor. Next is pure power technology, whereby it is a real-time monitoring technology that downclocks the processor when it detects the processor is under load and vice versa when the uh, processor is in high load to efficiently save power of the processor. Lastly is the extended frequency range technology uh, or known as XF XFR. It increases the upper limit of the maximum frequency range to maximize the cooling technique of the processor such as the water cooling or air cooling techniques. Next, uh, this is the comparison between the Athlon processor and AMD Ryzen 7. As you can see, uh, as when Ryzen 7 is created, they increase the number of transistors, therefore allowing it to have a faster clock rate of up to 4.4 gigahertz. However, uh, in the modern uh, design of the Athlon processor, there is now a Athlon processor that is able to reach speeds of from 1 gigahertz to up to 3.2 gigahertz. And previously, at the older design, Athlon processor is not able to overclock, while Ryzen 7 can be overclocked. Next is the cache. As you can see here, the processor uh, has another cache for Ryzen 7, namely the L3 cache, which has a maximum size of up to 32 megabytes. Mega bits. Next is the obvious uh, difference is that the CPU cost has increased from 2 to 8. Uh, from the older models of the uh, Athlon processor, it only has uh, one thread. However, in the newer models, there are quad threads uh, available in each course. Uh, two, two threads in each course. Next, uh, Athlon processor has the size of using 130 nanometers uh, to 65 nanometers, whereby Ryzen 7 has the latest 
technology of 14 nanometers, which is considered the smallest in today's uh, technology. And lastly, the, it has the V core of 1.8 volts to 1.6 for electron processor, while, whereby Ryzen 7 has 1.45 volts to 1.3625 volts. This uh, V core is associated with the overclock rate, whereby higher voltage leads to higher uh, clock rate, whereby the later models is uh, also the same, but not as fast as the current uh, technology, whereby uh, the Ryzen 7 at 1.45 volts is able to reach speeds of up to 4.4 gigahertz. Uh, next, I will pass the presentation to my next team member, Wong Ka -Shing. Uh, I would like to talk about the difference between the AMD Ryzen 7 and the Intel X086. From the table, uh, the number of core of AMD Ryzen 7 is 8 and the Intel X086 is 1. The number of core is important for a high demand processor. The core inside a processor will read and execute the program instruction whenever the computer starts to function. As a single core processor, the performance of an Intel X086 is limited. The time taken for the Intel X086 to communicate with the RAM and cache is longer than the AMD Ryzen 7. The higher the number of the core of the processor, the higher the performance of the processor during multitasking. And from the table, the number of threads of AMD Ryzen 7 is higher than the Intel X086. A thread is a string of data from program that pass through a computer processor. When single instruction is executed, a string is produced to pass the data through the processor. Thus, Intel X086 is hard to perform multitasking as compared to AMD Ryzen 7 because they manage to use one, only one thread to transfer data. As compared to the AMD Ryzen 7, AMD Ryzen 7 managed to control 10 then tricks. Due to the single trick of Intel X to SX, it will have some latency of transfer time compared to MG7. MG7 has a feature called simultaneous multi threading whereby it also can be called as SMT, which allows to control different data of trick simultaneously. It will result in less latency of time in transferring data compared to Intel X to SX. Then in the table, the uh, clock speed of AMD Ryzen 7 is 4.4 GHz and Intel X086 is from 5 MHz to 10 MHz. The clock speed of a processor determines the time consumed by processor to retrieve and interpret the single instruction executed by the program. The AMD Ryzen 7, which has a higher clock Speed helps to complete the instruction executed by the program faster. User will feel com user will feel comfortable and good since the higher cost speed of AMD Ryzen 7 has reduced the time taken for the user to wait for the application to open and function. Uh, from the table, AMD Ryzen 7 has the features of overclock, whereas the Intel X U S H doesn't have the overclock features. Uh, the MD Ryzen 7 is not limited to the CPU speed. It can increase the CPU speed by setting up a higher clock rate or multiplier in the computer's BIOS, and it can force it to perform more operation per second. It can get a faster CPU that can perform more operation per second to execute a uh, single instruction. MD Ryzen 7 also has more number of cache memory and higher storage compared to the Intel X0 access, which require external cache to access. MD Ryzen 7 can store more program instruction and data they can use rapidly. It can also access to the instruction faster and has increased the overall speed of the program executing by the processor and the AMD Ryzen 7 has a lot of freshers, modern freshers compared to the Intel Xeo S6 like the SMT, Pure Power, Precision Boost, SFR, 
smart prefetch neural net prediction that is that are stated by my teammate before. Yeah, uh, that's all for the comparison of AMD Ryzen Seven to the Intel X Five Six. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your uh, three of you uh, for giving this uh, informative presentation. Uh, may I ask a question? Uh, what is the smart prefresh uh, that is uh, stated in your slide? Can you show back your slide? Uh? The, what, is, what, what is the meaning of smart prefresh by uh, Ryzen 7, MD Ryzen 7? Uh, smart prefresh is the technology which eliminates yeah okay, uh, okay yeah uh this one yeah okay uh smart uh prefetch is a technology uh, created by md which is uh, a technology to eliminate decoding pipeline stages uh to prevent high cost on the pre uh, processor is, is it related to uh the branch uh branch hazards the the uh, yeah. Yes. Control hazard, yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, that, that is to handle the control hazard, right? Yeah, yes. Okay, yeah. So have you studied, uh, have the documentation show how they do, uh, con how to handle control hazards? Sorry, sir? Is there any documentation? Uh, or they sorry. just put their smart refresh only? Uh, Because I think some of the technology is actually proprietary to certain companies, uh, so they won't show us so clearly, right? Ah, yeah. Yes. So it's fine, uh, yeah. So, uh, which processor will you choose? Like, uh, if you are the user of a computer, uh, will you choose uh, Intel or AMD processors? Uh, it depends, but uh, for gaming purposes, I think we we'll choose the Ryzen Seven. Because it is uh, gaming at all. I see. Ah, yes. how, how much uh, overclocking can it uh, have? Uh? What is the maximum frequency uh, clock rate that it can go up to for Ryzen 7? Just now I say overclocking, right? In your table. Uh, last, uh, last page, I think, should be. You mean overclocking, right? Overclock uh, the third, third row. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. So this, that means that it can go more than 4.4 giga, is it? Yeah. Or this, or this 4.4 4 4 is already the highest clock. From clock the rate. information that I found in the internet, okay, it actually said. has a 100 megahertz boost if the overclock is applied. 100 megahertz means 1 gigahertz, oh, 100 megahertz. Okay. Oh, a little bit only, yeah. Uh? Ah, uh, yeah. Seems like oh. much difference. I don't know. How much different, uh? But usually Ryzen processor is cheaper than Intel processor, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes. uh yeah. So, uh, it's a cheaper option, uh, Also for for those who need a uh, uh, x86 computer, right? Because yes. Intel is uh, processor is higher, uh, with higher price. Yeah, maybe a few hundreds uh, at least. So I think that's all for my question. Huh? Thank you very much for this informative presentation. Ah, thank you. Sir. And yeah, thank you. So we have three groups already presented. Huh? Uh, any any other groups want to do today? Any other groups? Okay. Uh, so uh, all other groups are uh, twelve groups. Uh, please, uh, try to do it by next Tuesday. Uh, everyone. Uh, all of you. Uh, so priority will be given to those who registered already on next Tuesday, but after that we will continue to do run all the presentation. Yeah. If really cannot make it, uh no penalty because I already allocated three days for you. But I hope you can finish it up so that we can so that you you can uh focus to do a revision after that. Yeah. If no question, then uh thank you very much. So next Tuesday we will do. After the next Friday, uh, if we cannot finish, we also can do it. Uh, but I hope uh, on Tuesday we can finish everything. Yeah. 
So if no question, then uh, I will show uh, since we still have like 20 minutes. So maybe you can try to do a question. Yeah, let's do question. Uh, which question do you like to do? Maybe you can do question A and B first. Yeah, let's do question A and B. I will open the jam for you. Uh, let's do a jam bot. So next Tuesday, uh, everyone, uh, yeah, fair, right? Everyone can do. Uh. So I don't want to choose certain groups. Uh. Yeah, let's uh, do this question. So I've already shared to you. Uh, maybe I cut, the, cut and paste the question into the... Yeah, this is a September 2020 is a latest, uh, latest uh, past year. I do this too, lean 20 minutes. Yeah. So after that, uh, we will discuss about the answer. Yeah. And anyone also can do this. I will leave you to do your own revision and then you please uh, do these two questions. Any other question you want to ask me before we do some revision? Anyone want to ask me any question? No, then I will leave you to do uh, your self study. Yeah? And then you can write your answer at the jam board. Yeah. Uh, basically, uh, from now until the end of semester, I will uh, give you some time to do your own study. So please uh, prepare something. If you want to ask me, you can ask me questions. If not, then we, you, you follow my questions. So thank you very much. So uh, please focus on this question. Yeah, thank you. I think we did this question before, right? Say, I'm Salo. Uh, yeah, Yen Chang, I can see your uh, icon over there. Uh, mean the speed up of certain uh, system, it depends on the portion that you can, you can uh, run, right? Yeah. So we right. did this question before, right? Yeah, but in other passive, passive papers, yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. But other years also ask this question, so we will do it. Yeah. Okay, very good. M salon is a formula which is to predict the performance improve on particular modification made. Yeah, I think we need further explanation. Huh? Yeah, speed up is the speed up equals to uh, that one, correct? Huh? So for question one, correct, very good. Okay, very good. Just give a big round of applause to uh, Yen Chang. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Very good. Uh, let's do the B, yeah. Uh, at the next picture, B. If you are so fast, so we can do, I think we can do until C also. Uh, if we have time. So we have done this before or not? Not yet, right? Oh, we done already, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah, we done already, sir. Oh, we done everything already. So we better change to other question, huh? <coughs> All this also done already, yeah. This one also done already. Is it? Chinshan, have you done this? See, 
Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, all this done already. Uh. This one, one and question one already done or not? Uh, I think no. Not yet, uh, because it's a cash, right? I think it's before we, our test we did it. Uh. So maybe we do this one. Uh. Yeah. Sorry for that. Uh. So because you've done so many parts of paper. Major. Yeah. So you do this, yeah. But it's good to do some revision also. Uh. I think we have done a lot uh, during last time. Uh. Explain the major difference between a direct map cache with an asset associative cache. So you have to do this. After that, maybe we try uh, second one. We will try these two first. Uh. Let's try these two and see whether you can do or not. This will require you to think a little bit. Uh, because uh, you, you do have the information, but you need to compare. Explain the major differences. Uh, so you say, uh, uh, maybe you, you can explain that direct map as such, uh, something, and then set associative doesn't have something. Yeah. Maybe give a uh, one or two, uh, two, uh, two differences, but because it, let's say explain the major differences. So give two differences. So I say a direct map cache has something, then a set associative cache doesn't have sort of something uh, like that. So definitely direct map uh, is direct mapping cache is definitely simpler, uh, the design is simpler. And fixed location for a given block. But for set associative, yeah. So it's different. Uh. Maybe you can say uh, the one is simpler, one is more complex. Another one inexpensive, and then another one more expensive. 
And then another one has fixed location for given block. Then for set associative, uh, there's more than uh, one location for certain block like that. Yeah, stain, yeah. Just if you have two way set associative, so you can put, uh, you can actually you actually map two, uh, two lines of a cache. Uh, what? Uh, two lines of a cache to a certain block, right? Yeah, certain uh block. So I explain in words. So thank you, Shisha, for trying this. Okay, very good. How about for direct uh for, for set associative cash? He said associative cache has one more bit in the tag, therefore, it is a two way set associative that compare tag field to see if there is a key. Okay, good. So, what are the differences? One is having a fixed location, another one uh, has one more bit in the tag. Yeah, so to show that which one it refers to. Uh. So, they okay, can, and then you can put one is uh, simple for direct map, is simple. Set associative is uh, more complex. Huh? Then we will be compare both of them. Yeah, Susan, yeah. Okay, very good. So we can do this. Huh? Okay, good. Yeah.
Okay, very good. Complex design, simpler design. Eh? Yeah. So, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, in this way, you can compare uh, the major differences between the direct map uh, cache and the set associative cache. So, I'm going to just give a bit of applause to Shinshan. Very good. Then next, uh, we are going to do the last question for today, which is this one. Consider a 16-way set associative cache that has 16 4-bit long data words. The words are addressed to the half word. The cache holds uh, 2 megabytes of data, and each block holds uh, 16 data words. The physical addresses are 16 4-bit, 64 bits long. Calculate the number of bit index and offset needed to support references to the cache. So we try and see uh, what is inside the uh, set associative. So you have to check the lecture notes. Yeah, for the set associative. You have to check the lecture note. Yeah. So we go and check where is the set associative. Set associative. This one is a set associative. So you go and copy the table. Uh, tag the offset. Uh, yeah. Tag set word. Uh. So you go and do this. Uh. Tag set word. So copy. Tag set word. Yeah. Uh, let's put over here. Uh. Copy. Uh. Yeah. So. Uh, please do in five minutes later we can check your answer. Who's going to try? Let's calculate all of them. So it has a 16 4 bit long data works. Yeah, totally, you have 60, 64 bits. Huh? Yeah, total, you have 64 bits. Then each block holds 16 data works. Yeah, 2 to the power of 16 is, uh, sorry, uh, 16 data works is 2 to the power of 4. So need, uh, how many? For your bit offset, I mean you need four bit, right? Four bit over there. Then you have sixteen way set associative. Yeah.
So there are 64 bits, right, for the whole uh, address format. So for here, it's a 16. 16 equals to 2 to the power of 4, right? So there will be 4 bits over there. Yeah, so you have 2 mega, the cash flow will 2 mega back of data, which means 2 megabyte is equal to 2 to the power of 21, right? 21, huh? And then 21, uh, 4 bit is already here. So here should be 17. Yeah, 17, but the problem is, is 16 way, yeah? So it's no longer uh, 17, but it's uh, 2 to the power 17. Yeah. So you have 16 way, right? You divide by 16. So 2 to the power of 20 y, 21 divided by 16. Who can do? 21. So 16 way is 2 to the power of 4. So 31 minus 4, minus 4, you get, see ya. So we have this one, the offset is 4, huh? offset equals to 4. Uh -huh. 4 bit, right? We have 16 uh, data words. Huh? Then we have a 16 bits long data word. Huh? Long data, 64 bit long data works. Okay, so uh, you have to calculate huh? one byte is uh, 8 bit. So you have a 64 bit data word. So data work here is uh, eight, eight bytes, uh, yeah. So let's calculate this. Uh, so this one, I will leave you to do the homework uh, as a homework, yeah? Because this is quite complex. Uh. I want you to think of it, and then maybe uh, on Friday, uh, no, on Friday, uh, on next Tuesday, uh, or maybe next week on Friday or Tuesday, then we'll discuss about this. Uh. So I want you to start to think about it because there's two very important things. One is the long uh, data word. Yeah, long long data word. It's not using a byte. So you have to divide, uh, multiply then eventually you want to find the uh, set and also the tag. Yeah, that is the beauty of it. Uh. Yeah, so it's uh, quite an interesting work, uh, but you need some time to do. Uh. Yeah, so I will leave you to do as a homework. So this one uh, is a homework. Is, uh, do this homework. Yeah. So next week we will discuss about it. This is a time is also quite uh, near already to the end. Any question you have? Or anyone already finished it? If not then I will leave it as homework. Uh, okay, so we are going to end our class soon. Uh, any question you have before we end the class? Let me ask around the table. Uh, Bung Chiang, any question? Sai Siu, Jie, Chun Wei, Tong Yi, Han Xiang, Hang Dong, any problems? Xing Shen, Zui Ming, Ka Xing, Brenda Kui, uh, Leong Ho, Ernest, Tiong Le, Wei Hong, Wen Yang, Wen Liang, Xu Pian, Xue Wen, uh, Yan Chang, Yao Ting, Yi Hang, Yi Si, Yong Chuan, Yu Yang, uh, Jerlin, and also, Zhang Hen, any problem you have? You know, then uh, I will end up my class here. Then, uh, happy holidays. And Xu Pian, yeah, no question. Uh, please do the homework. Uh. Thank you, uh, Xu Pian. So please do your homework uh, for this jamboard. Because this is a very interesting question. I, I hope everyone can do. If you can do, uh, means for set associative, you have no problem already. For cash problem, you can answer. Yeah, in your final already. Yeah, so, uh, so I want to greet everyone a happy weekend and happy holidays. Sir. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah, all the best to you and keep safe. Sir. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you.